Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, which is into bracket x minus 1 raised to power 6 equals to 4 raised to power 6. We take 4 raised to power 6 to the left hand side, and this becomes x minus 1 4 raised to power 6 minus 4 raised to power 6 equals to 0 here. The next step we can express as x minus 1. Or is to power 3, then or is to power 2. As 2 times 3, give us 6 minus. Also, we have 4 raised to power 3, raised to power 2, then equals to 0 here. And this follows on we have a square minus b square, which is same thing as a plus b into bracket, open bracket a minus b. And here, a is standing as x minus 1 raised to power 3. And b standing at 4 raised to power 3, which implies all we have here becomes x minus 1 all raised to power 3 plus 4 raised to power 3 into bracket, then open bracket x minus 1 all raised to power 3 minus 4 raised to power 3 close bracket, then equals to 0 here. Then next step here. We have two possible cases. The first one, x minus 1, all raised to power 3, plus 4 raised to power 3 equals to 0. Or we have x minus 1, all raised to power 3, minus 4 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. And solving on this side, this first one we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets. Then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square, which implies here we have x minus 1 plus 4 into brackets, open bracket x minus 1 square minus 4 times x minus 1 plus 4 square close brackets equals to 0 here. Then, yeah, this remain x plus 3 into bracket. Then open bracket. The expansion here gives us x squared minus 2x plus 1. Or open this bracket, we have minus 4x plus 4. Then plus 4 squared, that's 16. Close bracket equals to 0 here. At this here, we have x plus 3 into brackets. Open brackets. This gives us x squared minus 2x minus 4x that's minus 6x. 16 plus 4, 20 plus 1, that's plus 21. Close brackets equals to 0 here. Then we have two possible cases here. First one, x plus 3 equals to 0. Or we have x squared minus 6x plus 21 equals to 0 here. Solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 3, which is a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation, we are equals to 1, b equals to minus 6, and c equals to 21. Apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. And here this becomes x equals to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 21 all over 2 times 1. That is, here we have x equals to minus times minus, that's plus, we have plus 6 plus or minus square root of Minus c squared, that's 36, minus 4 times 1 times 21, that gives us 84, all over 2 here. Then, next step here, we have x equals to 6, plus or minus square root of 36 minus 84, we have minus 48 over 2. Then we can rewrite this as x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 16 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. 
that is when we separate this here root 16 is 4 we take it out and we have x equals to 6 plus or minus 4 we have root 3 then root minus 1 is i over 2 when we separate this we have x equals to 6 over 2 plus or minus 4 root 3 i over 2 at this here we have x equals to 6 over 2 that's 3 and plus or minus here we have 2 root 3 i at this here we have two complex solutions here then solving from the second case here this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is the same thing as a minus b into bracket open bracket a square plus a b plus b square that is what we have here becomes x minus 1 minus 4 into brackets open brackets x minus 1 squared plus 4 times x minus 1 plus 4 squared close bracket equals to 0 here as this here we have x minus 5 into brackets open bracket expansion here gives us x squared minus 2x plus 1. For open this bracket we have plus 4x minus 4 then plus 4 square 16 close bracket equals to 0 here. Then here we have x minus 5 into brackets open bracket here becomes x square minus 2x plus 4s we have plus 2x then 16 minus 4 that's 12 plus 1 that's plus 13 close bracket equals to 0 here also we have two possible cases here first one x minus 5 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 2x plus 13 equals to 0 here then solving on this side this gives us x equals to 5 which is also a real solution here then here we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 13. applying the quadratic formula we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 13 all over 2 times 1 then this becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square as 4 minus 4 times 1 times 13 we have 52 all over 2 that is here we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 52 that's minus 48 all over 2 Here we can write this as x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. When we separate this root 16, that's 4. Take it out and we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus 4. We have root 3 and root minus 1 is i over 2. We also separate this and we have x equals to minus 2 over 2 plus or minus 4 root 3 high over 2 minus 2 over 2 here yeah, that gives us minus 1 plus or minus here yeah, becomes 2 root 3 high also here yeah, we have two complex solutions here yeah. and therefore all together in this problem we have six solutions here yeah. two real solutions here yeah. two complex solutions here yeah. and two complex solutions and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell share this video give a thumbs up put your comments see you next class and bye for now